to the Lord Jesus Christ. Who are you? I want to destroy him. In what way? This guy is very strong and very destined child, but we don't want him to serve. Don't want him to show up. Why must he show up? He can't. So what's your problem with that? From the childhood. So what's when he was small, we entered him. And that destroyed me all for him. Tell him all, all his intelligence. All everything. Well, even your classmates today are surprising him. Okay. What problem? Is the spirit who wants to destroy him? Family. That is cost family. Cost. How? Destroy everybody there. Who are you speaking in the name of Jesus? Entró desde de la niñez. Pay the mighty much, Jesus Christ. Pay the mighty much, Jesus Christ. Let me ask. You can't set him free. Well, I've already bonded. We have already bonded. Pay the mighty much, Jesus Christ. No Pay the mighty family. A great family. Six boys. Six boys. None of them can't bring one of them to be a good, strong, healthy boy. But none of them. Who are you? Don't want them to progress. That is the. You say what? That is the fan. That is ancestor. The, the, that is the. I can't. Pay the name of Jesus Christ. Everything has an end. This arena of liberty. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Over the ground. Fire over the ground in the name of Jesus. Your back. Fire in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Stand up. Y este hombre es declarado libre ahora para la gloria de Dios. Él está libre de su juego en el nombre de Jesús. She's is set free to the glory of God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. received his deliverance to the glory of God he's here to share his wonderful testimony so you're welcome please tell us your name where you come from introduce the person standing next to you then share with us your testimony yeah Iman uh, my name is Ohano Godwin Eberichuku beside me is my wife my lovely wife so as you can, as you all can see the clip that is uh, exactly the cause of my problem. And I never knew till this day. So I give God the glory. So this is started when I was a, a, still a, a little boy. Just let me say from six to I was in my primary school. Then as I have all these strange spirits, but all these dreams. But one day I was returning from... I was returning to my home. Then I saw these birds, these by, uh, bats. You, you know, most people that live is, lives in the village, grow up in the village, we know some evening like this, bats will be flying out. That day home was too much. And I pick a stone, and the stone one of all these by, bats. I heard when the thing hits one, I heard, bam! And uh, in the night like that, there was moon everywhere. So... All of a sudden, I saw something was crippling out, crippling out from the bush. Very huge, crippled like uh, it doesn't work, it crippled. It came on towards me and I ran away. Give, say, who is this? What is this? He's still chasing me and then I ran into the compound, our, yeah, our house. Then the thing now went back. Then start that time, I just noticing this thing in my school. You know, from my primary school, one to this thing, I never took a second for one day. It was first, first. I was so brilliant then. Then I noticed all of a sudden, I don't uh, school begin. I get afraid of school. My people, it become a it's become a very big problem. My father chased me. If I, if I went to school, he just do anything. I would come back home. Then uh, reaching for the time of a uh, common entrance, because of these uh, challenges, my father could not even give me 15 naira then for my common entrance, uh, this thing. And uh, the OTD day, they gave the last date for the, this thing, and they, choose, they, they sent me home to come and uh, break my... When I came home, I, I, I did not see anybody in my compound. Then it was then I lying on the bench there. 
Then I saw a woman was coming inside the compound, inside our house, from outside. Then there I was looking at the woman. That's when the woman approached closer to, to, to me, I couldn't see anybody again. Then inside me, I began to feel this uh, one sensation in me, and uh, instantly I got this spirit of loss, begin to masturb myself. Instantly, I was a little as I am that time, I think 11 to 12 years. Then that thing now make it destroy everything. And uh, because of that, this spirit, my father now decides uh, I, I should go to learn trade. It was, it was a very big uh, argument between my father and my mother. My mother said, if I don't take common entrance, then I go to commercial school. Then my father just brought uh, one man. All of a sudden, so I should follow the man. And I followed the man to Botacourt to learn trade. Even the thread that this, this spirit was still disturbing me, I was masturbating myself. I was masturbating myself, and this thing led to the six years they negotiated for my settlement. I stayed five years, getting to the six years. The man sent me home that uh, I should stay here until you come and settle me. There is no settlement, and that thing made me to just enter city as a young boy. At that time, I was 16, 17. And I just, based on where I learned pass, made motorcycles, spare pass, but as we are work, as we are learning the pass, there was engineers, mechanics in the front of the shop. So I tried to put my head for, for, the, for the working, and I know how to repair the bikes. So that is what I just uh, opened, start doing it that time, because no money to start the pass that I learned. Then from there, I was making money. If I walk in the evening, I would take bike and enter road and run or cadre. I make sure I make a lot of money. And that's for that young age, I just rented a house, a room, a room, a room. And that house, immediately I packed into that house. Then I started seeing this press stop. Day, if I say, let me sleep in the day, I will, somebody will be pressing me to kill me. I cannot shout. I will be shouting in the night. In that place, began, I, began, I began afraid to sleep in the house. I was looking for somebody that will be accompany me to sleep in the house. And nobody, no brother, no sister, no mother, just only me. As a young boy at that time, just live life the way I choose. Then uh, I just uh, lost. I saw these boys. I can't even know how I find these friends because of I needed somebody that will be helping me, that is, will be keeping me accompanied in the house. Then I saw these boys. We became friends. They were three. So now they come to my house and feel free. So I, I, I used to make a lot of money then. I give them money, cook. When I come, I eat the one. I say, what is here, man? They will just bring food, they cook. When I go out, they will bring women, mess the house up, you know, all those things. So that house become this thing. So that is the life the boys was living inside that uh, house. They were living that life to bring women, mess up, and the beds where I lie down, I, I used to. So that thing now, because... Uh, uh, one day they called me, they said one night, because they used to call me one night then. They said one night, you're a very good guy and uh, very young. They say, so we'd like to show you roads for you to make it in life. We'll take you to somewhere, that place. Then too, they want to go there and all those things. They will cook you, make you strong, all those things. Then I, I saw Kate, I followed them to a warm kingdom in River State there. So when, they, when, I went, when they took me to that place, I don't even have this particular thing that I want, that I want to go do there. Uh, so when I go there, they just took me to the woman. The woman asked me, what do I want? I can't even explain, tell what I... Then uh, I noticed that those boys, they did not come there for anything. They just brought me to, to that place and hand over there. Then now the woman now asked me to face the wall. The wall inside the inside very strange house, very red house. I say face the wall. That wall, I faced it. I saw on that wall they use a, a chalk and they draw river, river on the wall like this. And the mummy, the, the woman, a mummy, the spirit. That is mummy, mummy spirit inside that uh, chalk. I see it. But the woman sat at my back. When is I should face there and talk what I want her to do for me. Then I can't say what I noticed, what I just can't remember that I say I need power. Inside me, said, don't say, it's just said inside your mind. I said I need power. Then she said, okay, turn. And immediately I said I need that power. I noticed that chalk, that's, that's chalk that they do as a river. It just became like a real river. And that person there is the woman that uh, is at my back. It was just 
I tabled my decision, so I should turn. When I turned to her, when I turned to her, she now said, open your mouth. I opened my, my tongue, bring out my tongue, and she caught me with razor blades and gave me something to swallow with the blood. Then I swallowed it. They called the servants and said, take him. I should come back in four days' time. And if I come in, I should bring social items, goods, foul, bad luck, incense, a lot of things. And the ones I cannot bring, is I should deposit the money to the servants, they will get it for me, which I did. And I get back to Portacourt and came back there for this time with all the materials she asked me to. All this while, I don't see those boys again, even in my house, nobody again I see. They just, all of them go from that day. Then I become only me. Then I brought all those things. They not keep the goods and use all the blood, the full blood on me and uh, the power. They cut the heads and sprinkle the blood all over the compound, calling my names, and uh, cook the fowl. I eat, eat with them. So from there, they now ask me to go. The padlock I brought there, I used my hand. I couldn't have the woman direct me to lock it inside the house where other keys were locked. Many keys. I locked that one in the center. Then she said, if I'm going home, I should throw the, the, the key in a bush or river while I was going. And that play only bike that as I was going, I do as she told me. And she told me that uh, the insight she gave to me, that if I get home in the night, 12 o'clock, I will light it up and start taking my bath immediately I light this thing. And I will see her. I said, okay. When I get home, I do as exactly as she told me, and I was hoping to see her the way she looked. The way she looked. She fat. I was expecting, because that's, uh, the bathroom was outside, and you know this from yard like that, I said, uh, they need a half block, half block. You can see outside when you are taking bath. You only cover the door. Then there were soaps all over my eyes. I felt this breeze. Who drew I opened my eye. What is this? And I saw big vulture. Big vulture on top of that block was doing eye. The very big vulture, the pristine long. I shout. I say, ah, what is this? I said, well, she said, I just hit the, dog, the vulture with my hand. He fell down. I now opened the door with naked, opened the door with naked leg, carry stone, tried to kill. He now flew away and uh, he stayed close to me, watching me. I was still stoning this before the, this thing. Now, now, in the, that uh, uh, four days, they asked me after I did all that, I should come back. I went back to the kingdom. And the, 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 the servants then, all of them, before they used to cook food. If I come, they would be happy. They would bring food, we eat. But none of them even showed me that, uh, this thing again. And uh, what they did was, they then went inside to talk to the woman that I'm here. The woman told them to ask me to go back. And they come and ask me, so she don't want to see me. And I was kind of, uh-uh. Why now? I was troubled. So I want to, he said, you don't want, you don't, you say, you don't want to see me. And then I left. So I left. That time, attack, I was surprised to, uh, in my dream, that from that moment, I slept in the night. Then I began to see, I was in a tree. All the grounds were snakes and uh, centipedes, big, big ones with their legs, long, long ones, different type of snakes. I cannot come down. I, 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 everywhere a snake, I was crying until I woke up from that this thing. Then from there, I, was, I, 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 I wanted to go hustle as usual, bike. Then I got this accident, very fatal accident with my bike. That, I saw that car was just parking like this, waiting for me to pass. With the speed in the highway, it just entered and uh, hit me and ran away. People took me to the hospital. They discovered that I hit my forehead on the floor. And uh, they had seen water begin to the shake inside my head. When I do like this, I feel in that water. I was worried. Tell the doctors, they should operate me to remove all this water. They, 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 they said 
they, can, they are not working that way, that I should do city brain scan. That was a specific scan there, which I tried to provide. That is 2000, 2002, city brain scan. It's, it's 5,000 then. I did it, there's nothing wrong with my brain. So this is what I've been passing through. That, and uh, I just got that uh, eye problem with that uh, accident. So this thing I've been living, trying, seeking for solution, no way. And uh, this thing caused me to left for tackles. But because of this thing, I left for tackles, having dreams. Anytime I sleep, I would be messing myself up. I just left for tackles to my, even, uh, uh, my music career. All these things stopped because that, that time I was doing well. I have this competition that I, I was attending, like Street to Star, One Mic, all those things. I say hardcore rapper. I, I was good. Yes, I'm good. Then I was very good. Then this competition, I went there and I, made, I was performing well. But immediately this thing, because it was on that competition, so I, was, I started that competition. They took me to that, uh, that place. But that time now, the thing just affected me that upon I, I just, I, I get to the final, final, that is finalist, final stage. Then the day, the final, yeah, Tima yourself, all of them were my DC in that time. So they, they, they were calling me, I don't know that's my name, they were calling me while I'm one of the finalists. Then. So this thing, I, 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 the, my name, they would just make mistake with my name. They would call me in a way that I will not know that until they shut the door, that competition where I was very sad, and I thought that all these things, I believe, I thought that is something that I, would, I, I can do by myself. I say all of this should go, I will make it. And that thing make me, I thought that is something that I will just do with flesh and blood. I don't know that is something spiritual. Then, the thing makes me, I heard this voice. It told me to go to, before then, one of my track where I was on a radio playing, and they called me, the presenter called me, say, you are doing a great job. I say, you, you're going to make it. This is your music. We go. That was Emo State is Beautiful. That is the title of the song then. Then, when I, this voice told me to come to Lagos, let my, my music come out from Lagos here, so that we go circulate nationwide. Any music that comes out from Portaco, it's only within that uh, this thing. But if it comes from Lagos, I go nationwide. So that makes me to come to Lagos and to avert all these uh, problems. I thought that if I enter Lagos, I will not have all this thing. But... People of God, you know, when I come to Lagos, I'll tell you that uh, just be like somebody that from frying pan like this to fire. From frying pan to fire. When I come to Lagos, I see different city all together, different lifestyle, temptations all over, problems. And I see another, just like the spirits walk with me from my village, anywhere I enter, it walk with me just like it sub when it submit me to these ones. And what I don't know if they go back or they stay there working with the spirits. So this thing now tormented me with different kinds of, that is nothing I, not, nothing I did not experience in my life. Now, uh, so the, uh, Star, Star, Star was doing their, their competition there, uh, street, uh, this thing, Star Quest. That was a national theater. And I believe in myself very well as a, as a rap artist. I went there. Then when I went there, everything, they called me. Immediately I came out there as this thing there now. Something that I, can, I know that I can do better. Then I just came out. I just saw confusion. I can't say anything. My voice, somebody just heard my voice like this. I was there just trying to do something. And uh, Casey, did this, all of them, they are the judges. They were laughing at me, say, do you, do you think we are here to play? I want to rap, but I can't talk. Then they just asked me to get out from there. And uh, that is how I left. And I come out, I was very, that is, uh, from there, I was very worried. And I just left home like that, and uh, just begin to seek help, where I can find help, internet, everywhere. I just the entire enter internet, go encounter in another problem. When they told me, to fill a form, when in a court, in a court uh, website that they, they made people to shine. They are the stars, they rule the world, they rule the earth. That I should, then I was very in prayer, I was very happy that I come here, which I submitted all my pictures, all the things they requested to them, and they giving me assignment stage by stage, stage by stage, stage by stage. I was following up, getting to the stage where they asked me 
about nine assignments which I could not uh, uh, fulfill again. Sister, that, your situation moved from bad to worse, and that was how you ended up joining another cult. Yes, that's where I ended up joining another cult through the internet. I'm uh, registering there. So I make I feel I registered there, I become a member, but they were sending me messages, all the assignments that I need to do f for the day. But the one they gave me, that was that, that, that one, uh, nine, nine assignments, and they said I should be uploading different kind of uh, funny, funny things, bad, bad things on the internet, which people will be following me and commenting. I'm commenting. Nine like that. I did one, did two, did three, nine, I, I, about six, which I don't know what to do again. And because of that, no message came again. And before then, I already submitted my pictures, everything to them. I say from there, from there, I come encounter another deeper uh, attack. They were, they, that is, they were pursuing me, my dreams. I was, that is, even I fly in that dream, I fly, go here. Anywhere across the river with, with my this thing, and they still fly, flying with me until they caught me and they, they put my head uh, uh, fire for that dream. Inside, immediately they light my head with fire. I woke up, and as I woke up, I noticed that my nose, I was perceiving like where they are roasting goats. Goats. For two days, I still feeling like they are roasting goats. I was looking, I don't know that it was my head that smelling that. Uh, that thing. So uh, that thing cost me more problems. I begin to the lost con uh, memory. I can't remember things again. My musical career, I just leave it once I begin fighting for my this thing. And this thing affected my eyes. Immediately, I got this problem that I can't face music again. And thing led me to enter uh, trading. I come back from my work. I buy, spare, I buy some used bikes. Then I repair all the dispatch bikes. Then I repair and sell. And from there, self, nothing is still working. If I buy bikes, pack. If I sell one now, maybe one fifty thousand or those things. If that money, if that money did not finish, if that sell I make did not finish, I will not sell another one. Nothing will make I sell another one until that money will finish. Then I will try make another sell again. I cannot make sell be selling, topping my money to be growing. So this thing become a body. I know that uh, this, this thing nice. So where, where, where I, got, I got fear, that is, I got shocked, was when they told me in this Egondo General Hospital that my eyes, this one is gone. This one now uh, is, uh, is advanced uh, uh, with a, 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 a glaucoma. Glaucoma is advancing this one. So this one is true, we soon gone. And if it gone, means that I've, I've gotten blind. So this thing now shocked me. I say, if I go blind, I will not see again. That makes me to be seeking for, seeking for a way, seeking for solution. Then I now, before, before, I, I, I used to come to this uh, church. But because of this spirit, each time I come to this ministry, then if, if I enter here now, I will fight. I will fight. If I don't fight, person, person will fight me in the church premises here. Yeah? And that thing will let me, I go back home. Anytime, the other, some, I remember when I got this grace, I entered church that day. They were ministering uh, morning water. Then I was there waiting for the military. They were coming close to me like this. I started, I, can't, I, I could not get hold of myself. My, everywhere I was, I was breathing high feel uncomfortable. One time, hot peace just started to be, disturb me. I now left that place, went and used myself. From there, I go, I go house. So this is the problem, the way the problem has been taking me so that I will not get that this in until, until, uh, when the matter done too much, I, I cannot help myself again. One day I was crying. Anybody I see, I will tell that the only, synagogue is the only church that I have experience the power of God that can hear me. I have been to many churches, holy synagogue. I don't know why it will happen like this. The, the time we needed that the most, it just passed on. Then I, I slept. After I said that with some people, they, the people said was mocking me, say, so at last, your TV Joshua will still pass on. 
We don't know that if Joshua will pass on. We thought that he will live forever. All those things that people said, and you mocked me a lot. I said, you don't know. Okay, sir, what finally happened after you made that resolution within yourself, and then you came down to the Synagogue Church of All Nations and decided to stay through the service? What happened? Tell us. When I, when I, 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 I tried to come back again because the church was closed, since that time, the incident happened. So I was troubled, nowhere to go. I tried to go to some churches, but nothing, no this in there. Then I came back. I told my wife, say, we, 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 we must go to synagogue. Because I, I see in, in the internet that they say synagogue will open again. And I was very happy. I told my wife, say, see, synagogue wants to open. She said, was very happy for that. We are waiting for the, this thing. Then we started watching Emmanuel TV. Then when I came, when I came, this thing, synagogue opened that time. We're finding a way to come back. No way, because of the challenges we are facing. Until we had that, this uh, grace last week to come. And when I came, uh, from the from the re reception there, we they separated us. I don't know where she how she entered church, and me I just entered that place. So when the administration of anointing water going on like this, then when the the, the evangelist coming close, then that spirit again, that fear, I notice this peace, this uh, hot peace come come again. And the defy and all those things, I can't even listen. Then I just heard this voice. I just heard a voice with prayer point. He said, uh, Lord Jesus, search the root cause of my problem and put an end to it. This is what I heard. This is actually the voice I heard. <laughs> then he said, Lord Jesus, uh, okay, sir, sorry to interrupt you. Let us take you back a bit. You said you had a dream after the passed on to glory of Prophet C.B. Joshua. Tell us about the dream. Yes, that dream. Yes, I did not, I, I, I never even sleep. I woke up and just tried to sleep very early because it's getting time that I will use be preparing for work. Try like that and again, I just see like revelation. Somebody was, uh, I was discussing with somebody like this, asking the person, why is it that Real men of God doesn't last. They will go. The person lasts. They don't last. They doesn't. They doesn't go the way we think it. They go to prepare a better place for us. So I now ask. The person now told me that. The person now told me that Jesus Christ, the whole world, are worshiping today. Person. Uh, 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 33 years, 33 years, and the, uh, that, is, is, that, is, that is where the word got saved. And another church, he said the founder passed on to at 55. So our daddy, T.B. Joshua, passed on, but he still lives. That is now the power is here now. He's here with us. That was exactly what the person told me. And that encouraged me. I said, okay, you mean that our daddy is still, like, he says, alive. only we can't see him physically like this, but he's in your mix. I said, okay, thank you. I was very happy, and I told my wife that we must go to synagogue. We must go to synagogue this Sunday. I now, she, she was very happy because she used to tell me, let's go, let's go. I would just tell her, beg, go. So, and since that time, I just begin to in Emmanuel TV to know exactly how the ministry... The, uh, so, sir, when you finally came, tell us what happened. When I finally came here, I, I was sitting there, and uh, already I told you that any time I come to this church, if you hungry me to come home, I will be immediately, immediately I come to this church, you must see problem. Either I fight, because this spirit... At, it cost me, that is, the most problem I have, this pretty used to maintain me is uh, anger, anger. I can't relate. It's one thing, I fight you. I will just first uh, rush you. So, and because of that fight, you can see, this my teeth, uh, because of fight, these teeth move, uh, come out. Because I can fight even, even five boys, even four, I don't, only me. And uh, some people fear me in my area, they say, it doesn't smoke, it doesn't drink. 
but you will add more than those. So that because of that, they fear me. Because if I begin my fight, I cannot end it. So that day when I came here, uh, they, when the administration of anointing water was coming through the, uh, the man of God. So you mean last Sunday when you finally came here? On 24th, on 24th of uh, this month. When I came, so when, that, uh, when the evangelist coming close again, I experienced that spirit, fear. That is, I can't stand the, this thing. It has only happening like that. That led me to either peace, very hot one will come, we start. I say, if I just say, let me go and ease myself, from there we take off. Then when that peace came out, I just heard this voice. When I was about to come out, I just heard this voice. Uh, Lord Jesus Christ, search the root cause of my problem and put an end to it. Uh, Lord Jesus, search the root cause of my, my the problem of my family and put an end to it. I was just meditating this thing. I was just meditating this thing. The, the ministration of the money water just becoming close to me. I was ministering this thing. So this thing just hold me. The peace, everything, just, I just hold that. It will hold me there. But immediately they get to my this thing, I did not feel that... Uh, that's a piece again. So that was when the morning water just touched me. I can just feel when it's sprinkled to my face, and that, that is only what I can find out until when they tell me, say, you're free in Jesus' name. I was very happy. Shall we put our hands together beautifully for a miracle working God? Wow, and finally you got delivered. After your deliverance, tell us, what are the changes that you've noticed? I, I noticed a very, I noticed big changes in me. Because before, if I'm hearing like a, 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 a worship songs like this, even my wife, if she's singing sometimes, if not that hip-hop, if not that uh, hip-hop music that I know, I would be shouting for her, say, you are disturbing me until you play uh, hip-hop music, or my course, all those things, that's what we are like. But this time around, I find those musics, it disturbed me in my ears. So I, I used to, throughout all this while, I play all these uh, worship songs. If I sleep, I would play through my phone. In fact, I searched, I searched Spotify, one music site, and just make sure that I search for the worship, this thing, then play them offline. So that is how... It's in not putting me the same, but say this spirit, you know, when body, when if somebody is being delivered, I notice that I use my own case, know that if he delivered, it doesn't mean that already the spirit that left, I already corrupted the body. When I see this anger comes, and I will just hear that voice, that control, I will realize myself immediately. I will adjust and control it. But after your deliverance? Yes. And my eyes, when I came, when I, when they, when I just, uh, uh, when this my eyes now, when they give me that, that time, that, that, when they give, when they ask me to, when the church, after my deliverance, when the church ask me to, to come on Monday and let them check my deliverance, when I came here, they gave me money water to help, to be, to be back me. They, they was get, have, have this privilege to have this money water, this anointing water. Then they said to use strength in my spirit, my this thing. Then I said, okay. Then that uh, anointing water helps me a lot. Then I mix it. Immediately I get home, my mind just tell me, put it, put it with my with the eye the, with the eye drop they gave me in the hospital concerning this my eyes. When I put it there, and I was ministering it with faith. With faith in my eye, then even I visit myself through my nose as I just this, this, then I now see that the eyes, these eyes that they, they said is gone. Then I now see that life have entered it. That is, there is life inside it. Hallelujah! So now, sir, you can see clearly now. Yes, I can see clearly now with the eye because before, if I close this one, I cannot see at all with this one. Praise the Lord! And now you are free, you're totally delivered. Yes, I'm totally delivered. I'm very happy for it because I can feel it from my attitude, my behaviors, even towards my 
my woman here, my wife, because she, only God knows what she has went, when she, what she, what she have went through from me, and she still stands. So I, I really give God, and I really thank her for, for all these years. Okay, so we rejoice with you over the deliverance you've received. So please share with us your words of encouragement. Okay, my words of encouragement to viewers all over the world, like as Nigerians, Africans, Africa, Europeans, Americans, so all of you, as you can watch me here, just know that, uh, just like as our dad, the prophet Tibiosha always said, they say, uh, they say your situation is not bigger than God. Don't let, don't question God because of the problem you find yourself. Don't question God because of that affliction you see, you find yourself, that problem you find yourself. Don't believe that with God there is joy inside Jesus Christ. And that is only hope. So any problem you find yourself, make sure that you seek Jesus. Indeed, with God all things are possible. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? Okay, let's hear from your wife. Okay, madam, please introduce yourself and tell us about the wonderful work of God in the life of your husband. Emmanuel. People of God, Emmanuel. My name is Stella Ohanu. Ohanu Stella. People of God, I really appreciate God for what God done in our family. Because this spirit has tormented us too much, but since the deliverance from my husband, I see many change. Now she can sleep very well. The eyes, you no know, more complain again for the eyes. And also... Okay, madam, you mean before now your husband could not sleep at night? You know, they sleep for night. You just pressing phone from that night to the morning. So now even for the hunger, because before, if you, if you talk, if you, if you see how you go, just shout for me. No, nothing like wrong, nothing like likeness. Every time quarry, shouting up and down, fighting. But I thank God since on Sunday till today, I see many change. No more shout. She can sleep now as a baby. Even the, the eye itself, everything has gone. I thank God of this ministry. I said this God, may the goodness of God in this ministry continue in this ministry in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, madam, please tell us your words of encouragement for people that are going through the same situation that God delivered your husband from. Emmanuel. People of God, Emmanuel. The word of advice I want to give to people. When you, when you see this kind of situation, you no need to be crying or weeping or quarreling. Just pray to God. God will answer your prayer. Don't run away to God. Run to God, and God will deliver you. Amen. Indeed, we should not run away from God, but we should run to him in our situations, and he will deliver us in Jesus' name. Nous venons d'entendre le merveilleux témoignage de M. Godwin, accompagné de son épouse. Il a reçu sa délivrance de l'esprit ancestral à travers de l'onction de Dieu présent dans l'onction. Il dit que dès l'âge de 6 ans, il faisait des rêves bizarres. Il dit qu'il était un élève brillant, mais un beau jour, à cause de cet esprit, il a commencé à avoir peur d'aller à l'école. Il dit que cet esprit ancestral a détruit toute sa vie, apportant la stagnation. Très jeune, il a commencé à se masturber, cela a affecté sa vie énormément. Il dit que le problème s'est empiré dès qu'il a commencé à travailler. 
Alors, euh, ses amis emmènent un spiritualiste chez lui afin d'apporter la solution. Et afin de recevoir la solution, le spiritualiste a versé le sang des chèvres, a fait des sacrifices, a coupé sa langue, mais cela a empiré. Il dit qu'après cela, il a fait un accident en allant au travail et cela a causé de l'eau dans sa tête. Il a voulu faire une chirurgie, mais les docteurs lui ont dit qu'il n'y avait rien à faire. Il dit qu'il était musicien, mais sa carrière en tant que musicien était anéantie à cause de cela. Toutes les portes ont été fermées pour lui. Il dit qu'après cela, il a rejoint des cultes sur Internet. Cela a encore affecté sa vie. Il a reçu encore bien plus d'attaques, des cauchemars. Il a même eu un glaucome avancé. Les docteurs lui ont dit qu'il qu avait perdu son œil pour de bon. Et c'est là qu'il a décidé de venir ici à la synagogue, l'église de toutes les nations. Il a reçu sa délivrance. Il dit qu'après sa délivrance, il n'est plus colérique. Même sa femme, sa femme témoigne disant que son mari a changé. Et que maintenant, pour la gloire de Dieu, sa vue a été restaurée à 100%. Il ne fait plus de cauchemars. Cet esprit ancestral a quitté sa vie pour de bon. Il vous encourage tous, téléspectateurs, disant que votre situation n'est pas plus grande que Dieu. Acabamos de escuchar le merveilleux testimonio du Seigneur Ohanu Godwin, qui vient de Nigeria. Él nos comenta que sus problemas empezaron ya desde la escuela primaria. Él recibió una gloriosa liberación mediante el nuevo agua de unción de un espíritu ancestral que estaba afectando completamente su vida. Él nos comenta que desde muy pequeño estaba teniendo sueños extraños y que un día yendo a la escuela tuvo un extraño encuentro con el reino espiritual. Desde entonces él estaba asustado, era incapaz de ir a la escuela pese a que era muy brillante. Así que su papá decidió retirarlo de la escuela y estudió un oficio, estudió mecánica enseguida de joven este espíritu de lujuria también le atacaba y se estaba continuamente masturbándose en definitivamente él pudo encontrar un trabajo como mecánico, empezó a ganar dinero y se fue a vivir solo ahí es en esta soledad donde los problemas aumentaron, se rodeó de malas compañías, de malos amigos que iban a su casa y un día lo llevaron a casa de una señora quien le inició en un rito satánico él nos comenta que el rito consistió en que le hizo un corte en la lengua y le pidió ciertos artículos y cierto dinero a partir de ahí los problemas empeoraron aún más, su carrera empezó a ir en detrimento, empezó a sufrir fracasos, incluso tuvo un accidente al volver de su trabajo donde sintió un impacto en la cabeza. Los problemas empeoraron tanto que él decidió iniciarse en otro culto satánico a través de internet. En definitivamente su carrera como músico que él estaba iniciando fracasó completamente, así que él continuó a la luz de, de, de estos cultos satánicos, reuniéndose con malas compañías, eh, hasta que definitivamente él decidió que tenía que venir a la sinagoga Iglesia de Todas las Naciones, donde recibió su liberación. Este espíritu también de enojo le hacía tener fuertes problemas familiares, fuertes discusiones en la calle. Nos comenta que esos dientes que hemos visto que había perdido fueron debido a las peleas, pero tras su liberación él recibió una completa liberación de todos estos problemas. Ahora es un hombre tranquilo, este espíritu de enojo se ha ido, ya no tiene sueños, es un hombre tranquilo, dice que puede escuchar música de adoración que antes era incapaz y la esposa también testifica que es un hombre nuevo, que ahora reina la paz en su casa y él es un hombre amoroso y tranquilo. Así que espectadores de todo el mundo nos aconsejan que siempre que tengamos un problema busquemos el rostro de Dios porque sin duda Jesucristo es la solución para todos los asuntos fundamentales de la vida. Damos toda la gloria a Dios por este maravilloso testimonio. Esperamos que haya sido de mucha edificación para su alma y su espíritu en el nombre de Jesús. Sir, we rejoice with you over your deliverance. So, your deliverance has impacted your life so much that you find yourself having devotion to God. Just like you mentioned earlier, you find yourself listening to songs that glorify God. Yes, yes. It makes me now, I, that is, I really enjoy my life. I, got, I have this peace of mind. Before, like my wife said, I don't sleep. I, will, I can press phone from throughout the night. I cannot sleep. So, but now I sleep very fine. Let's say the time comes to sleep. I will just sleep, left phone. So I live my life very normal now. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus Christ? Y el señor Godwin ahora nos insiste en que es capaz de glorificar a Dios como antes no podía y que duerme como un bebé. La esposa decía que él era incapaz de dormir. Así que damos toda la gloria a Dios. 